Sind Sie auf der Suche? Are you seeking an operating and monitoring solution capable of holding up under rugged ambient conditions, such as dust or splashing water? In addition, one that can be installed directly on the machine without a control cabinet, and one which at the same time vastly enhances your machine design. Then Simatic HMI Pro is just the right choice for you. HMI Pro stands for protected. Protected means our devices offer total IP65 protection. Our Pro portfolio consists of comfort panels, industrial PCs, industrial flat panels, along with extension units. These extension units can be configured in any combination with all devices and are available in the various sizes from 12 to 22 inches. Today we would like to show you the functionalities that the extension unit offers, how they are ordered, and also how they can ultimately be configured. In doing so, we are starting with the functionalities of the extension unit. The extension unit offers a variety of control elements, from an RFID reader all the way to an emergency stop. The RFID reader enables user administration directly on the machine, and this totally without a password. Indicator lights provide a simple and well-arranged display of the machine's signal states. Using a toggle switch, it is possible to switch from manual to automatic mode. In this, the key-operated switch enables additional protection of your processes. The machine can be operated with ease via illuminated push buttons. In order to efficiently and quickly perform a backup of your machine and system data, USB interfaces are integrated in both the basic adapter and the extension unit. Label elements in the extension unit enable the assignment of functions to the control elements. Likewise, there are also insert labels that can be integrated directly in the button. And last but not least, the emergency stop button, which is extremely important for system safety. My colleague will now introduce additional details. Stefan, what are the concrete steps customers can take to get started? The purchase order is very easily configured in the TIA selection tool, not only the operating devices, but also extension units. And now I will show you how it works. I have already integrated the Comfort Pro panel into my TIA selection tool, and now I am completing it with the extension unit. There's the reader system component. Here I see the available extension units in various versions. I very easily pull the extension unit by drag and drop into my TIA selection tool. There I have the option of individually equipping the extension unit, for example, with the displayed control elements, such as the RFID reader, or the emergency stop button, or various control elements. I can simply pull them into my TIA selection tool by drag and drop, and at the end, I can easily initiate a purchase order in the industry mall. The components will now be individually delivered and are super easy to assemble. Now I will show you how it works. All you need for this is a screwdriver and a box cutter. You can take the extension unit apart. There are pre-perforated surfaces in which the cutouts of the control elements can be very easily created. Now I break out the installation cutout with a screwdriver. To do so, I insert the screwdriver, it's a bit of force, and remove the installation cutout. On the opposite side, I still have to separate the foil with a box cutter in this place. To do so, I cut into it with my box cutter. I can now integrate the control element into the control cutout. The control element and the necessary board are included in my delivery. I simply insert the control element into the front and tighten the counter ring on the other side. On the one side, integrate the element, and on the other side, fasten it with a flange. Now the control element is already integrated. All I have to do now is fasten the board for the actuator.
So it took little or no time to install my control element. Now it needs to be connected to the controller. First, the integrated cable harness of the device must be connected to the communication module. The communication module is available in three versions, hardwired, Profinet and Profisafe. On the hardwired version, the transmission of the signals from the controller to the control element occurs by means of inputs or outputs. By contrast, on the Profinet version, the transmission of the signals from the control element to the controller occurs by means of Profinet. In addition, we also have the Profi-Safe version. In it, transmission of the safety-relevant signals also occurs via one cable. This completely eliminates any additional wiring. I will now show you how it works in the TIA portal. The order configured earlier via the TIA selection tool can now automatically be transferred into the TIA portal. Now all components are in place in the TIA portal and do not need to be generated from scratch. First, the controller is connected to the HMI and the extension unit. On the one hand, from the controller to the HMI. On the other hand, from the extension unit in my project to my controller. I can now take a look at the configuration of my extension unit. We can see that the configuration has been transferred from the TIA selection tool. The configuration of the RFID reader can be done with an application example from the online support. I will now give you an illustration of how an additional control element can be added. You can find everything in the hardware catalog. We will also find the extension units and the entire control elements. I now add a toggle switch. You'll immediately see it in the TIA portal and be able to immediately configure it accordingly. First, I configure the extension unit, which includes the Profinet settings, such as the IP address. Along with the safety settings for the safety parameters of the PLC. I can also configure the control elements accordingly. To do so, I click on the control element and see under the I.O. tags the corresponding variables that I can link to the controller. At the end, everything just has to be loaded accordingly. For this, the HMI panel has to be loaded, along with the controller, including the extension unit. This demonstrates that the purchase order of the devices, the installation of the control elements, and the configuration of the TIA portal were super easy and efficient. The complete device can now be flexibly installed on the machine in a variety of ways, either via support arm or via supporting feet. You can also benefit from the somatic HMI as a hallmark of your machine. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.